Okay, so in this video, we will give two examples of the constant multiple rule of differentiation. So suppose that we want to take the derivative with respect to x of the function 14 times the seventh root of x. Well, before we differentiate, we will rewrite the seventh root of x as a power of 1 over 7. And now we can go ahead. So we have a constant multiple times this power of x. The constant multiple rule says that the constant multiple simply remains as it is. And then we multiply the constant multiple by now the derivative of the function. Well, since we have a power of x, we simply apply the power rule. So times, we bring down the exponent, and we subtract 1 from the original exponent. 1 over 7 minus 1 is negative 6 over 7. We can, of course, simplify. 14 over 7, of course, is 2. And if we wanted, instead of a negative exponent, a positive exponent, we can bring x down to the denominator, and now the power becomes positive 6 over 7. Let's do one other example. What if we want to take the derivative, again with respect to x, of the function pi over x cubed? Well, once again, before we differentiate, we will rewrite the expression. In this case, we will bring x up, so x to the negative 3. And now we can again use the constant multiple rule and the power rule of differentiation. Pi is a constant times a function of x. So when we differentiate, pi will remain where it is, then times the derivative of the function of x. Once again, we apply the power rule. So times, we bring down the exponent subtract 1 from the original exponent, negative 3, negative 1 is negative 4. And again, if we want positive exponents, well, on the numerator, what remains is negative 3 pi, divided by sending x down on the denominator, we get x to the positive 4. And this completes our two examples of the constant rule of differentiation. And you can see it's very simple. If you have a constant multiple in front of a function of x and you differentiate, the constant multiple simply stays where it is, and it is multiplied by the derivative of the function of x. And that's it.